Hi everyone. Some of you may have seen my video previously about the hydrostatic valve, where it is and how to remove it or replace it. This is a video that's going to show you why every swimming pool should have a hydrostatic valve installed, which is typically found in the deep end of the swimming pool. With concrete pools, because of their weight, they tend to move less frequently, or at least they tend to lift out of the ground less frequently. Rain is the number one reason why there tends to be water in the ground. There can be many reasons why a swimming pool will lift, shift, crack, or some people may call it pop out of the ground. When the water starts to build up in the ground, it can start to rise, and this is called a water table. Depending on your location, you may have a high water table or a low water table. Either which way, if there is a water table at all, your pool will need a hydrostatic valve. If your water table starts to rise, it's going to cause what's called hydrostatic pressure onto the shell of your pool. And if you do not have a hydrostatic valve in the swimming pool, it can be the reason why the concrete in your swimming pool will crack or why your pool may lift. With concrete pools, because of their weight, they tend to move less frequently, or at least they tend to lift out of the ground less frequently. If you are lucky and your swimming pool has a hydrostatic valve installed, then the hydrostatic pressure that starts to build up will put pressure on the valve. The valve is a one-way valve, so the water inside the pool won't leak out. But if there is enough hydrostatic pressure beneath the swimming pool, it'll lift up the valve, allowing the water into your swimming pool, preventing your swimming pool from lifting out of the ground and saving your pool from cracks.